the necessary risk management functions of all must be acknowledged as having taken targeted communities, which starts in the Confederacy with the minorities who are systematically subverted, at which point their protection of equal protections under law qualifies them under these obligations to have been told by the government, which triggers the rule of law, nation of law function of the correction by the courts to recreate the reality of their estimated values long-standing under the available management, at which point the insurance structures from David's network going back in time to the beginning of those functions would have generated the systemic position of the security markets, at which point those who would have actively sought protections from the threats would have had to have sought David's risk management markets and network which includes the plantations inside of the Confederacy, at which point David would have had to have had plantations markets inside the Confederacy, at which point the rule of law acknowledged that his loyalty to the Union would protect him from the function of military action by the North, as that is the arrangement that his compliance with the no-slavery position and the no defense of the South position makes the exclusive management of those plantations which would evolve into universities the foundational markets when they consolidate into larger systems. These long-standing positions actively having to subvert their connection to uh, the justification of the terrorists such as the lynch mobs would have actively had to have formed customs around the Confederate threat, at which point the position having accelerated throughout the world in time immemorial would have acknowledged the various rules which had existed in the North uh, that the blacks were barred from military service or law enforcement service for the extended period of times, forcing them into the consolidated position of those plantations as they being co-owners in the risk management insurance network, <laughs> having their own specialties arranged, would have hyper-accelerated women in the education to have managed the insurance companies over those as the work would have systematically been done by the men who, consolidating their value, would have exponentially solidified the hardest functions for their security, including the functions of the act of travel, would ha which would have engaged in these arrangements to have actively ingested the largest amount of returns for their stability, at which point their larger earnings would have been solidified in the highest protection functions, including the position of the World Wars, which includes David's position as uh, general over the United States uh, intelligence oversight function ordered by Congress for special missions, which would have had to have been recognized from the very beginning of the United States, at which point all engagements ordered by Congress or the judiciary would have actively been reinforced as the legal answer as David's branch is not subject to the president, but he is subject to the other branches, and he forming uh, groups and other departments which are loyal to the other branches would have systemically maintained themselves, such as the bailiffs are loyal to the judiciary as the enforcement mechanism, at which point the enforcement mechanism, not exclusively under the executive, manages the position that the court orders in a state of rebellion by the executive could be overruled and forced to comply with the legal checks and balances. Otherwise, the arrangement is for the entire system to collapse, at which point David's engagement with the wizard communism being subverted systemically would have exponentially reduced the threats in the world wars which were created by the wizard communists. And David's engagement in the Second World War would have engaged as the function of getting many technologies from the 
enemy as he actively reinforces his alliances that would have had treaties with them at those times, at which point his ability to have engaged early forms of jet engines would have allowed him to accelerate exponentially beyond the competition as his special missions in Japan would have allowed him to save exponential amounts of lives by the kidnapping of women and children and celebrating them and promoting them in the uh, propaganda networks, at which point the second Hollywood function would have actively been accelerating these parties, who being reinforced by <clears throat> the Japanese Americans, who would have been put into the uh, camps, would have been purchased and transferred to David, at which point they engaging in the function of the propaganda systems would have actively been doing all of the various jobs of the market, including the celebration and the promotion of the elite functions of the actresses and actors inside the captured uh, Japanese civilian population who would be higher members of society as is celebrated by the mass sales of those movies, at which point those propaganda systems exponentially existing would have reinforced the acknowledgments that the Japanese would be well taken care of with the Americans, allowing for the ease of the distribution to the Japanese throughout their entire system in order to encourage compliance with the systems, specifically redirecting them to David, who upon maturity would have had the United States one against Japan would have been the primary mechanism of the reconstruction, which potentially would have prevented the obligation of the United States or the interest of the United States from engaging in the nuclear bomb, at which point the propaganda dissolving their hyperdedication uh, to the point of women and children committing suicide in order to avoid the big scary Americans makes the nukes uh, unnecessary. Their general soldiers understanding who the Americans are under David would not have nearly as much radical positions, allowing for it to become easier to digest them. Leading their markets under David to have taken over Japan when the empire collapsed, as David overseeing the reconstruction of their economy would have actively been an aspect of this, as he would have sought to have made it a tech giant mechanism for global trade as the primary trading hub of his international exchanges at the point that the uh, Soviet Union would remove its iron curtain. The trade route would be able to be secured efficiently, at which point he would be able to manufacture the exponential compounding interest of those advantages of the insurance market, which not which the market known by the intelligence community about the estimate from the military intelligence acknowledges the position that the hydrogen vehicles would have been created and understood and created for the network, which he would have put throughout the system including the position of making the Russians the uh, center of the faculties for many of the hydrogen vehicle production upon receiving the treaty, at which point many of their mechanics would be exponentially absorbed as his Japanese would have engaged in their functions, at which point um, their agents as servants to David would have administrated on his behalf in those functions and conducting the work and working it to maturity would have actually um, solidified the insurance function which Jeffrey Sachs and George Soros understood would have subverted their plans to collapse the Russian economy by engaging in wizard communism. And with the rule of law in charge they aren't able to obstruct that at which point the insurance exists for that when they turn down or collapse the Iron Curtain, allowing for the insurance market to enter Russia, at which point these states formed from the treaties of all of the nations, which would have had alliances with David, which would have been a substantive quantity, would have long standing been waiting for the Soviet Union to remove its Iron Curtain, 
which would have generated the majority of its economy as they would have been using the insurance functions in order to reproduce the insurance functions so that they could uh, distribute the largest amount of protections to the former Soviet unions, uh, former Iron Curtain, rather, uh, Soviet Union, at which point the Soviet Union would still probably collapse into its various arrangements, but it would collapse into the insurance exponentially reducing the damages as David's agreements do not require him to do anything except for protect the obligations of their state, which is the defense of their people, at which point the lowest amount of human injury would have been conducted in those insurance structures as they would have made those arrangements, making the former Soviet Union extremely wealthy with extremely firm um, defenses by that insurance network from the collective efforts of David's treaties, states, investing into them throughout an exponential amount of time. Which backtracking includes all of the other wars that would have happened, um, including Vietnam or the Korean War or any of the other ones, which would have been substantially different with David's insurance market functions and his security arrangements and checkpoint arrangements, which would, would have exponentially increased the uh, fighting potential of the American interest, which would have generated substantively more positive results than the Confederate compromised forces, which were simply seeking to extort the United States uh, in order for money gains from a conspiracy of hyper-monopoly from the Confederate arrangements as wizard communists to engage in the military-industrial educational complex which manufactures uh, false justifications for the conflicts in order to receive uh, funding for the wars, at which point killing is their entire business and they exponentially exclusively seek the promotion of those sources of fundings as they uh, sprinkle in and infect and intergage with the other functions of the legitimate engagement of the military industrial complex or other American functions. And this trading with David stopping of the crash of 08 is his starting value at birth, which the title of the Legend of David Company would be the replacement for the birth certificate under the American policies, which anticipating David would have made those arrangements asserting that David is the authority over those engagements, at which point he has no use for the any of the wizard subversions, such as a birth certificate or any of their other frauds, which are systematically designed to trap the general public. Which leads to David being a highly influential political party from the throughout the United States, including California, which exponentially being uh, put in a position by being overthrown or threatened by the Confederates in order to engage in their necessary force in order to overthrow the other states would have had to have bought David off, at which point their investment into that would have forced David's attention into there, where he would have them sacrifice the tariffs, make them pay their debts for any violations they would have conducted, and then once their debts were settled, then they could start making progress on market price towards their various interests, as he would have captured their government as its majority party. Because again, they have to beat out the alternative contract opportunities, making the contracts that they offer more value than the alternative. At which point, this acknowledgement would have had to have started their investments before David was born exponential, including the acknowledgement of the propaganda mechanism uh, for the Japanese, which would have been uh, something that they would have considered essential without their other debts or without their other subversions to have been able to have accomplished market which requires them to subordinate themselves to David as the patriarchy which removes the rape culture as the alternative to the function of their betas and their sociopaths is the patriarchy which is man-led society and the man-led society has men actually lead all of the members of society 
instead of exploiting them, at which point women receiving equal representation and children being protected and represented properly as well would have exponentially changed the foundational cultural mandates of those engagements, subsequently changing the results of their various criminal enterprises, which were a direct result of his absence. The majority of that time, David's functions as the <clears throat> insurance market, including the functions with the military as the intelligence oversight uh, branch of the military functions as the enforcement mechanism of the congressional oversight arrangements, preventing them from being intimidated and allowing them to subordinate the intelligence community efficiently would have exponentially reduced David's need to possess as a general network aggressive military equipment beyond special operations and the arrangements of his uh, secret functions, which would be classified equipment, allowing the mechanism to be observed that it wouldn't be until he was substantively in charge, directly being able to make competent orders, that he would have been able to be put in a position where his network would invest in primary viewable military force, at which point the wars in the 90s would have been generated, uh, including the wars in the Middle East leading up to the 9-11 war on terror mechanism, all of which would have been systematically generated to specifically target David in order to make David a bludgeoning tool against them, making those hyper investments into those broadly viewable military functions as the Confederates would be using the proxy weapons and the converted members in the Middle East who were trained or converted by their white nationalist phantom cell operations, which generates the systems of their conflicts and wars, which David as intelligence oversight would have understood as a, the military white nationalist function, including his capture of white nationalists dressed in brown face in order to have engaged in the additional tactics and military forces in their conflicts throughout, at which point, with the enemy specifically having access to many of David's more obvious uh, pieces of equipment and intelligence functions, would have been able to have engaged in the compromising conflicts with David as they argue with David in D.C., uh, <clears throat> most likely in the Joint Chiefs of Staff, as they compete in the war room over who wins the proxy wars between each other using the proxy military forces, such as the terrorist organizations radicalized by the white national. These arrangements require David's approval and thus the hyper-education to the specialty uh, hyper-acceleration functions of the military advisors and others from his teaching, uh, from his schooling, from his other mechanisms and the general obligations that he would have requires him to exponentially specialize in to those arrangements, which can be broadened at a later date, but the first principle is to get David to co-sign with an educated answer all of the arrangement contracts of the highest network interests, which would materialize the ability to have confidence in those aspects of the market, at which point the specialty school hyper-accelerating David born as king manufactures the engagements of those conflicts, at which point all of the battles between David and the other members of the Joint Chiefs of Staff who have betrayed the United States for the Confederacy would have actively been contesting each other with their disadvantage as David by himself is stronger than the Confederate nation requiring them to use cheats such unitary executive theory by voter fraud elected presidents who, being compromised by the white nationalists, would be forced to comply with their override of the system as they systematically break the law, which could not be validated as a function of government, which would require David's oversight to have arrested them, which would have been neutralized from the beginning. And since David is a superior force to the entire Confederacy, this is the primary motive for their other insurrectionist policies, engaging their civil war functions through espionage, war, and other criminal subversion.
the god of the laws of nature is stronger than the devil and the confederacy worshiping the devil kissed the ass of the devil to accelerate their witches and wizards in order to manufacture their sorceries to be able to have a chance against their natural superior leading to their systematic dismantlement of their devil agents engaging in blocking and sedition of the functions of the united states government generating the systematic treason sedition and high crimes by the use of those sorceries for the express permission purpose of the defeat of the united states from the invisible empire being able to conquer in secret what they could not conquer in the open which is important to understand because david as the patriarchy is the aristocracy and the aristocracy is the primary force signal to who gets elected and since who gets elected is determined by the aristocracy, David is the one primarily forming the government, or the United States government being formed around the idea of David through the legend of David Company would have been prepared before he was born for his hyper-education into the military intelligence oversight functions as his deep research into the secrecy would have been prepared for an exponential amount of time, allowing for the hyper-acceleration into competence. So in exchange for their souls in the service of Satan, they have devoted themselves exclusively to the demonic in order to conquer their natural superior under the laws of nature, at which point their assertion to these positions have systematically engaged in the craft in order to capture the champion of the laws of nature and turn them into the perversion of the Antichrist, which is only available by the virtue of their ability to capture him. Now, if they were unable to do so by their not engaging in their long-term strategies for their satanic worship, then they would not have been able to have gained the foothold, at which point the historic abuses against the United States have specifically been aiming at David Bowles exclusively, at which point every evil suffered by the systemic racism exist as a function of their military campaign in that arrangement, at which point the Confederacy overthrowing California for J. Sekulow's Civil War to be able to inst be instigated is exclusively derived by the choices arranged historically engaging in the strategies for the long-term ambition of defeating one of their key superiors in order to engage in that conversion, at which point everything that has historically happened, every lynch mob, every genocide, every piece of shit, terrorism, every time the United States funded it, a bad guy, every time they made something like the Nazis, every time they were the reason the Nazis weren't able to send back the Jews so that they could be killed, every single one of these things are specifically aimed at this moment in time and thus the terrorist confederacy being systematically racist having murder in their heart specifically have designed themselves and their entire existence and the collaboration of their entire nation against the united states against its patriarchy and as the patriarchy David is their natural better, and as their promotion of capitalism and meritocracy is ash in their mouth, they have to lie and have devoted themselves in their satanic worship to their Marxist, Leninist, Communist, wizard terrorism, at which point the culmination of combining their wizard secret operations where they block essential evidence from the records as they artificially manifest the differences which manufactures the central planned economy under those arrangements have manufactured their frauds compelling the obligation to choose the murder in their heart or to surrender at market price sacrifice your terrors pay all your liabilities and Engage in life as whatever consequences you have earned for yourself and your family. And two of their indicators are protecting fraudulent functions of their magic, such as their distractionary sources and methods function, 
which was specifically designed to counter David Bull specifically and thus is disqualified as a policy. The function of the primary confessions that they have made is the abuses themselves. The acts of conducting their crimes against David and the, his interests is the act of the confession. Their crimes indicate or infer the motive of their terrorist operations. Their act of conducting the offense is the act of the certified warrant and the obligation of the limitation of their justifications under American law incentivizes the alternative understanding to their material justifications on the foundation of their strategy of their brutalization of the interest of the American people. Look at their actions, not at their words. Their strategy materializes the effects that they are looking for. And you cannot understand them if you do not materially put that into perspective, that the Hegelian dialectic of their over-devotion to one thing in order to get its opposite result materializes into the inconclusion of their objectives as they corner the markets in their monopolies and generate their racist society which in its anti-Semitic view has specifically targeted David to be destroyed as the patriarchy under their secret court's warrants. They convicted David for the abuses as the patriarchy, and the function of targeting him as the patriarchy is the functioning of the anti-Semitic function. Now, the Semitic function being a people subordinate or existing under the rule of a patriarchy is the definition of the function. So their targeting of David is the destruction of an entire society for criminal facilitation and manufacture of genocide of a first world government and nation which is significant in world history without their obstructions in order to alter or rewrite that history by their ability to engage in the subversive terrorist operations, dismantling the rule of law. So the mechanism of many of their frauds, including the subversion of checks and balances, preventing position of judges' ability to infer limitations on the legislator or the executive, which is systematically exist obstructed as uh, judicial overreach or judicial activism is in material the subversion acknowledgement that the terrorist operations engaging in secret obstructions of the normal function of government bars the function of that government through that system of sedition prevents the legislator and the executive from conducting their legal functions at which point the existence of the judiciary doing the job under that light isn't actually material judicial activism. The judicial activism would be the act of collaboration with the racist confederacy in those subversions generating those conspiracies against the law. So they, in their secret councils and their secret courts and their wizard circles, generate the simulations in order to manufacture the simulation for the engagement of the material alternative to American government by infection of the parasite, which is blocking the legal remedies owed to the target communities, specifically manufacturing systemic racism by obstruction or dereliction of duty. So if you take the distraction of Roe versus Wade, for instance, the legislator would have ruled on the affair, but it wouldn't be substantively important without their obstructions, because David in the free market, having his insurance market functions, makes black women who are the primary target of abortions um, especially under the one of the justices, uh, I believe Ginsburg was the one who said that it was designed to reduce the populations of undesirable members of the public, certifying the Lindsey Graham position of removing the undesirables from the general public as a government interest, which is exceeding to the rule of law's interest but rather the interest of 
independent branches ignoring checks and balances as they manufacture their desired uh, results from their subordination to the Confederacy, which without the obstructions doesn't matter because David's insurance market materially makes them more wealthy or stable, at which point with the risk management in place specifically designed for and of them at their highest educational potential, you would materially not have the social justification of the acceleration of those primary abortions outside of many of the wealthier white people who want to maintain their wealth by not having to divide it in their inheritance for their central planning function of their personal life, which is perfectly acknowledged as acceptable, but alternatively different than the objective purpose, which is not relevant in the free market. And without the existence of purging the black community or the other target communities who have systematically been suppressed by the criminal secret functions in the dismantlement of their communities and overthrowing of their leaderships to be destabilized by the wizard communists, at which point you understand the interest of those primary uh, groups such as the wealthy white community would actively enforce the legislator to compel the existence of the abortion rights as a legislative affair as they have the influence to guarantee it and since they are the ones with the primary force in order to generate the momentum they no longer having the excuse of targeting the black community exclusively have the consolidated collective force to maintain the existence of the function at which point the um, Church's function and many of the other functions who are opposed to abortion would no longer substantively have the backing of those systems, which would decrease the propaganda of the opposition to it, which would push for the legalization for more, far more efficiently, but uh, no longer at the specific interest of the white nationalist confederacy. And since the interest of the Confederacy is subverted, they would no longer have an interest in it substantively changing the results of their public testimony. And who are the primary group pushing for the rights of abortion? Well, that would be women. In many of the cases, their defense of the right to do the abortion against a rape or some other thing manufactured by the Confederate white nationalists who say that you're supposed to enjoy the rape and that they can't get pregnant unless they enjoy the rape, at which point the position is the order or compulsion of getting pregnant as a desired outcome because it is the function of a breeding program under the Plato's conspiracy arrangement enforced by the white nationalist wizards who are engaging in the use of government secrets to generate those results. At which point, if you go back into the original position of the uh, Rosie the Riveter function inside the world wars, generating the women's exponential involvement into the factory work, generating the war machines equipment, that would have substantively not been reduced as their engagement of their taste of the general workforce would have given them money and political influence, which would have been highly desirable, and they having lost it, by the World War II coming back of the men, uh, reinstating their jobs, would have removed them from it, removing their funding, removing their political influence, which would have redirected them <laughs> into David's network so that they would be able to find the employment and maintain their political um, acknowledged force inside the general public, at which point their active participation in the United States government from that point forward would have been a part of their hyper acceleration of being attracted to David's network as they are chased out of the factories of the rest of the market. They run to David's insurance market, which sustains them in those positions of long standing stabilized market functions. As they do so, uh, you would have had substantively different policies generated in their interest as they invest into the mechanism of the political influence currency and their
political currency exponentially increasing in value would have sustained the active maintenance of making those substantive changes, such as the right to self-determination and the subversion against the extortioners who, under the white nationalist arrangement and the leverage of the terrorist operations of the white nationalist confederacy, uh, would have systematically sought to accelerate them under reproductions of the same con of generating a different version of the Rosie the River arrangement, which can be taken away from them at a later date, making them systematically involved in their own oppression. So they historically have two options. They can kiss the ass of the devil, or they, like good women, can subordinate themselves to the patriarch. And the devil, seeking to destroy them, using the learned elders of Zion protocols in order to get those who are benefited from the aristocracy to turn against the aristocracy, are using that mechanism in order to convince those very same women who need the patriarchy to attempt to murder the patriarchy. Death to the patriarchy, death to the patriarchy, death to the patriarchy. It's a personal attack against me personally. And I don't appreciate it. You need to stop. Arrest the witches. Arrest the sorcerers. Do not tolerate the white nationalist hate crimes. Do not support terrorism. It is a threat to national security. And it is a direct act of war against the rule of law and the god of nature. They are not Americans. And they are not Christians. The use of the satanic mechanism allows them to manifest the alternative economy as they've transferred all of the money by use of terrorism, armed robbery, and theft respectfully, at which point the understanding of the exchanges under this system assumes that David would have sustained himself at the 25.6 million an hour work, uh, charge for wages at which point the assumption of the interest of higher value contracts would have been servicing the advancement of network interests over his personal wages as the development of his kingdom is of a higher priority than his personal income which is simply just irrelevant by connection of the larger scheme of the kingdom which facilitates the original world order and that original world order under the brokerage kingdom facilitates the ability to make diplomatic settlements in exponential reduction of <coughs> tense situations from a neutral perspective at which point they would need someone like David in order to solve many of the threats by conflicting oppositions which would feel otherwise that the any mediator would be partial to one of them or the other which would actively uh, discourage them from using anything except for David. Since the network interests are primarily on the foundation of the states generated from each treaty such as the treaty with Japan, the natural disaster type scenario uh, remedies from the zombie insurance would have been a high investment at which point many of the Japanese who would have been assisting with the construction of um, the deals inside the former Soviet Union contract uh, when they would have made their insurance would have been able to have leveraged their work into accelerating their purchase while it's being constructed, at which point many of these trades at the higher value can easily be settled. And once those trades have been uh, worked off, then it liquidizes, at which point uh, David was assumed to progress under the network interests and his own interests, at which point the function of having sold it means there is a, a liquid... Um, alternative to the actual substance so it becomes cash and at the existence of it becoming cash it becomes uh it goes through a projected cycle um similar to the function of creating a credit line for the uh, bonus credit score 
uh, credit line, which generates the members of the public who have the accounts to be able to buy off of credits through their contract schedule uh, generating confidence, which materializes the frequency of exchanges on um, on the brokerage market, at which points the primary ingestion of resources would be from the commissions from that frequency, at which point uh, it just depends on what the specific interest of the network is at that time uh, in its most secure form, at which point if you systematically promote other treaties, then there is a mass expansion on the basis of the new resources being able to fund those expansions. And, uh, you know, you have your total settlements, at which point the projection of that on the original contract schedule um, that the secret court acknowledged when they established that they would be the savior of Europe would have had to have projected those trades in order to have traded ahead of time, at which point the assumption of the to guarantee that that would happen, they would make trades with David uh, around uh, before he's born and around around those early times as early as possible in order to leverage the guarantee of those trades, at which point the contract schedule has those guaranteed bonuses solidifying a minimum value uh, with very little adjustments from the market because the primary movers of the market have already engaged in their trades, at which point their dedication to the future resource, if they say that they want this X resource for Y resource, which is projected to be contracted in 20 years, then they have to have made that agreement, which solidifies the stable market price, which uh, normalizes the exchanges, and which point all of the frequencies are primarily based upon the activity of the wizard communists generating alterations, which primarily doesn't affect the network, but it does affect the obligations of the network and how much other members of the uh, brokerage have available liquid resources, which is primarily covered with the additional liquid resources for the credit, at which point it's basically just countering known frauds, and you have the disillusionment of the threats up to the extraordinary value of the stabilizing uh, pressure. So if you maintain these kinds of constructions, you have a substantially different market on the basis of those principles, which I don't have calculations for as they're censored and most of my faculties are obstructed specifically for the point of not having those numbers together. But again, it doesn't really matter because that's the reason that they would have had to have engaged in the trades with David as early as possible, hyper-accelerating his expertise and his education so that he could make those finalized answers and everyone could stabilize, at which point David existing from birth at the highest luxury is the status quo minimum obligation.